Uh, Margaret Thatcher famously quoted Attlee in saying that referenda were the instruments of demagogues and dictators because Hitler used them to adopt supreme power uh, and to basically invade other countries after rearming. So my view for no confidence in the Prime Minister isn't simply because she's doubled the debt, created poverty and social injustice, but basically that she's given, she, she thinks the advisory referendum is an unconditional mandate to, to Brexit under any costs and any circumstances without consulting with the people on, on whether this represents their reasonable expectations. The people were offered more money, more trade, uh, control over their laws, control over migration. But in fact, they haven't got any of those things. We'll have to pay £39 billion. There'll be a squeezing of the economy. There'll be less jobs. There'll be less trade. We won't be with e Team EU in terms of negotiating with big players like China. Uh, Northern Ireland will be an open border for immigration via Dublin. We won't control our immigration. And in any case, if we did, we'd just switch uh, a, a, culturally, uh, a, a cultural neighbour to more distant immigration in any case. There's no evidence that the people of Britain support the deal. It's a betrayal of conservatism because we move away from the most established market in the world and break up the union, a betrayal of socialism because we basically have a smaller cake to divide more equally. It's bad for our economy, our security, uh, our environment uh, and our common values. So it's my view that I have no confidence in the Prime Minister because she has no confidence in the people to make a judgment on the deal she's delivered. If they want it, let's go ahead. But otherwise, unless we don't have that vote, we'll just wait another two years in the transition period when we could, in fact, have a vote on this, decide on reflection. It's better for all of us to remain, and we can have two years sorting out this country rather than uh, 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 having this uh, situation where we're just talking about Brexit and Britain is burning around us. Yes, there will be some anger if we have a people's vote, but I put this to you, that there will be absolute rage if we don't and Brexit goes forward. Forward. People voted to leave. They didn't vote to leave their jobs. And Brexit, which is now being seen uh, warts and all, and we're also seeing the fact that, um, that Europe is a much more virtuous place than before. There was a massive defeat uh, <coughs> last night. Yes, uh, the Prime Minister looks, needs to look cross-party at all the options. If we can't agree any deal, let's put the deal we've got to the people uh, and they can decide whether to continue. In the meantime, I'm calling for a general election, but if we don't get a general election, we should have a people's vote. The Labour Party should stand up for Remain, and when we win that, there should be an election because we'll have a government which was elected on strong, stable Brexit, will be weak, unstable, and Remain, and then we will deliver a Labour government and a better Britain in the future.